What's up you guys, Drifters Premium Collectibles here and today I'm going to crack these three slabs. Before I cut the video and crack the cards, um, I wanted to show you guys what they are. It's a Mass Beast from Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition PSA 8. It is a Super War Lion um, secret rare from Premium Pack 2 in a PSA 7 and not one, but two of these. So um, a little bit of context, this is a pack fresh um, mass piece from Labyrinth of Nightmare and one of these war lines was a cracked PSA 9 and the other was pack fresh so um, I felt like I got taxed pretty hard so I'm gonna crack these off camera and um, I will come back and show you the conditions and you all can make the judgment was the 7 a fair grade or was it not a fair grade and uh, the same thing with the PSA 8 mass beast uh, these will be going to CGC so um, let's see if they're conditioned ready for CGC. So this was a mass beast that um, was a PSA 8 and uh, we're gonna take a closer look at it. It looks very clean in the front. All I can see is a it's a little bit OC top to bottom but um, I still think that's within PSA 10 range. I've definitely seen a lot worse 10s. Uh, the foil looks really good. Um, like I said this was a PSA 8. I felt like it w I was wronged with this one. Let's check out the back back is pretty spot on as well uh, if we take a close look at it that is just phenomenal condition corners it all looks great so I'm not too sure how this got the PSA 8 um, it should at least be a 9 so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send this to CGC there's my cat trying to sniff the card so so the next card we have is the first super war lion and uh, this was graded a PSA 7. So if we look at the front, it looks pretty good. Um, corners. It's very clean, very, very clean. And if we look at the back, that looks pretty good as well. It's uh, very nice overall. I'm not too sure why this got hit with a seven, but it did, and here comes my cat, so there's that card. So this is the second copy of Super War Lion that I sent to PSA. This also got a seven. Um, centering ain't half bad on this thing, it's pretty good. And um, let's see, if we take a look at the condition, the front looks very sweet. My cats are trying to jump in front of the, the camera here, but um, the condition looks very good. And then if we check out the back, there was one thing I saw, but I do not think this card deserves a seven. Um, what's it called? The one thing I saw was that corner, there's a tiny smidge of whitening right there in that corner. But other than that, I mean, it's super clean. So it's just like, this should at least be like a nine. This shouldn't be a seven. So I'm uh, pretty disappointed in PSA for those grades, but uh, these will be going to CGC. You never know. This could get a 9.5. Um, but I'm hoping for at least 9s. They deserve 9s. I mean, 7 is really, really harsh. So thanks for watching, guys. So all in all, um, I'd say these cards um, got taxed pretty hard by PSA. Um, two 7s and an 8. I think that they can definitely do better than that. They're all pretty minty. Uh, especially these War Lions are just so hard to find in near mint condition. And uh, they typically cost, a, cost a, an arm and a leg, and it's just crazy hard to find them, crazy hard to pull them, you know. So I think they deserve better, and I'm going to give them better. And uh, I just want to say, if you trust your feeling, you know, that a card got overgraded or undergraded, um, you know, and you feel like you need to crack them, I mean, by all means, crack the card. Because uh, more than likely, you're right. Uh, PSA has their hands full. They, I'm pretty sure they just skim through orders and skim through cards sometimes. And you know, it, it, it sucks, it sucks, but that's just the way it is. Um, so I'm definitely gonna send these to CGC and see what kind of grades I can get. And uh, thank you guys for watching.